In today's Take Me to Heaven broadcast, Pastor Adadio speaks about the loving kindness of God that is calling all men everywhere to repent. The signs in the world around are close that Jesus is coming soon, and He is the only way, He is the only truth, and the only life. Good morning, my fellow viewers. This is Operation Take Them to Heaven. I just want us to pray briefly, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for my wonderful people. This morning, I pray that you will have your way in our lives. Thank you, Almighty God, for in Jesus' precious name, I have prayed. This is Operation Take Them to Heaven. I'm going to read Psalm 9, verse 17. Psalm 9, verse 17. He said, The wicked shall turn into hell and all nations that forget God. So according to the word of God, it, it means that it is possible for every nation to end up in hell fire because of their wicked way. Amen. That is what the word of God says. It says that all wicked shall turn into hell and every nation that forget God. Amen. Amen. This same God did not even spear the angels who sinned in the ancient day. Amen. Amen. The, the word of God also tells us that God will not spear the did not even spear the ancient days. God did not even spear the ancient days in the time of Noah. Amen. Also in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah. They were born into arches. Amen. I think we should read this scripture. I think we should look at it. That is second um, Peter chapter 2, verse 4 to 6. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 4 to 6. We will see what the word of God says there. The word of God says that if for if God did not spear the angels who sin, but cast them in down into hell and deliver them in the shame into shame of darkness to be re, to, to be reserved for judgment it means that it's possible it means that god is reserving wicked people for judgment a day of judgment is coming so let's continue verse 5 says that and god did not even spare the ancient world but it, it saved noah one of eight people, a preacher of righteousness, bringing into the flood on the world of the ungodly. The time of Noah, we know what happened. People were doing all sorts of things. They did not believe the word of God. And also, verse 6 says, and turning the city of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes because they were doing all sorts of sexual immorality. And the Bible said, condemning them to destruction, making them an example. I want us to make note of that. He made this nation in the, days, in the, in, in the ancient days, he made them as an example to those who afterward will live ungodly. This is the world that we are now in. That world has gone. That, part, that, that, that time has gone, but this is our generation we are talking about now. God wants us to learn from the ancient days. He wants us to learn from the ancient days. He wants us to learn from, 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 their, from their disobedience to God, from their disobedience to the word of God. Amen? Amen? It is the same God who is using, is using different ways of reaching out to us to tell us that he's still the same God so that we can repent from our sin. Amen. God is using men of God, is using women of God to reach out to us every day. God has come in, he has communicated to us through COVID-19. Amen. God is using social media to reach out to us every day amen god is showing his glory he's showing his glory to, to us through his word that manifests in our life 
So I want to ask us a question. What else do we want? What else do we want? Amen. Let me tell you the truth. I want, us, I want to tell us the truth this morning. Whether we believe it or not, God is coming with his wrath. He's coming with his anger to those who enjoy sinning. He has given us as an example that the day of Noah, it will be the same. The day of Sodom and Gomorrah, it will be the same God. It's the same God. He's coming to judge the whole world. Whether we believe it or not. Amen. Amen. God is coming with his wrath on those who believe that we're all sinners. We can never be holy. Because of this, they are not ready to change. Because they believe that we can never be holy. They continue to sin against God. Because they believe that they have the motive. They have the mindset of saying that we can never be holy. God is only those who believe that Christ has died for us. Therefore, we can commit adultery because Jesus Christ has died. We can fornicate. We can do all sorts of evil if we are born again because the blood of Jesus has washed away every sin we are committing because we can still commit sin. That's why that we are born again. God is wanting those kind of people. Amen. God wants to reach out. This is the message that God put into my heart. God wants to, he want to reach out to, to all the atheists through this social media. All the, those who, does, don't, who, who do, do not believe in the word of God. Amen. He wants to reach out to them. God wants to reach out to those people who are listening to every wind of doctrine. Those people who believe that the grace of God allows you to sin every time, even though if you die in sin, the grace of God will save you. There, there's some doctrine that believe in that. God wants you to, list, to, to, to deliver you from the hand of those, those doctrines. Amen? They use the name of the Lord in the wrong way. God wants us to know that every sinner will not enter the kingdom of God. Whether they claim to be born again or not, whether they claim to be Christian or not, God is telling us that every sinner will not enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. He wants every one of us to, to, to make good use of the grace that he has given us to us because this grace is still made available for us. Amen. The Bible tells us in 2 Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Say God does do, he does not want anyone to perish, but he wants every, everyone to come into repentance because God is love. He wants he want us to come out of our sin so that we can we, we can stay with him. We can we, we can live with him in, in paradise forever. We are talking about everlasting life. <clears throat> It's either we end our life in hell forever or we end our life in heaven forever. It's not up to us. The grace of God is allowing us now to repent of our sin. One day there will be no grace. One day there will be no, no, no grace at all. Let me be honest on this social media. I want to be honest on this social media. I want to tell us that it is my wish to see every unbelievers, to see every deliberate sinners, to repent. That is my wish. That is what, what I wish. It's my wish is to see everyone to come to God. Those who do not believe, so that they can believe right now before it becomes too late. I am appealing to you on this social media today to accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and your Savior, because Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation, I am appealing to you to come to Jesus, to come out of your deliberate sin. God sees everything. We cannot, He sees our heart. He knows what is inside us. 
us. We cannot deceive him. It is my prayer that the Almighty God will reveal your sin to you. He will reveal our sin to us. The sin of ignorance. The del deliberate sin. The sin that you know that you are going to commit. That you do it deliberately. It is my prayer the Almighty God will touch us. So that we come out of that sin completely. And God will renew our heart completely. Amen. We read it about the word of God that we just, when I started, the Bible says that all the wicked shall turn into hell and all, and all nations that forget God. So we need to understand that after death is the judgment of God. After death is the judgment of God. Amen. Everyone that died in sin, they are resting in sorrow. They are not rest in peace. Many of us, we say rest in peace. The, the point of correction is rest in sorrow. But we cannot tell people that they are resting in sorrow. Because the more you tell people, the more they feel bad. But unfortunately, the truth must be speaking. We must tell the truth. Amen? Every wicked people, we rest, they are resting in sorrow. Because there is a waiting of judgment of God from them. Amen. We should be ready for this. We should be ready for this because we cannot escape death. We are all going to die. A Bilonia is going to die. Trilonia is going to die. Where are you going to? You will not take our money with us. The only thing that can save us is the is the salvation to accept Jesus Christ. Any Trilonia that accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Congratulation. But if you have a rich, if you are very rich and you don't believe in God, you are a dead person. Unfortunately, it is my prayer that we will not die young. I'm not saying we will die young, we will not die young in the mighty name of Jesus. But unfortunately, we are losing our young swan. People are dying every day. Death can knock at our door anytime. We cannot escape it. Young people are dying. Old people are dying. Amen. Death can come at any time. But it is my prayer that we will not die. We will not lose any members of our family at young age in the mighty name of Jesus. In conclusion, I'm going to conclude. God wants us to be ready at any time, my fellow people. He wants us to be ready at any time because he can call us home. He can call us home. He can say, this is the time for you to go. Now that we are, we are still alive, we need to make use of this grace of God. We need to make, this, make use of this grace of God by exercising our faith in the word of God, by believing the word of God, by putting the word of God into practice. I'm going to conclude by leaving you with John chapter 14 verse 6. John 14, Jesus said unto you, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one come to the Father except through me. We can only come to God through Jesus Christ. So I am appealing to you this morning to give your life to Jesus. He is the only way to salvation. Accept him. I am appealing to you, please, to surrender your life to him. He is the only way to salvation. Amen. I want us to pray for those who want to give their life. I want you to pray to God, Heavenly Father, please forgive my sin. Write my name in the book of life. Help me to please you always. From these days forward, the Holy Spirit will guide me. Thank you, Almighty. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. For those of you who have just prayed this prayer, I want to say a big congratulation to you. I want to encourage every one of us, please, let's keep away from sin. Let's try as much as possible to attend churches in our local area. Amen. So that we can, the, the, when we hear the word of God, your faith will, will, will increase your faith in God will increase. Brethren, I'm going to stop here. Please help me to forward this message to people on your social media. 
and we are starting our service at 11 o'clock. Bye from now. Bye. Shalom.